Welcome back to the channel. This is the video that gets the giveaway started. We're going to be giving away two 13 tooth counter shaft sprockets and one 42 tooth rear sprocket that go to the CT125. And I'm going to give you a list of things you have to do uh, within this month to qualify for the drawing on, on the giveaways. So stay tuned, folks. Be right back. Okay, folks, I'm going to take it a little bit easy doing this video, and I'm going to have some, some writing in on all the stuff that I'm talking about. So I want you all to pay attention to this because this is going to be how you qualify for the drawing for these three sprockets. Uh, first dr person drawn out there is going to get the rear sprocket, then the second one and the third one are both going to get one of the 13 teeth sprockets. Uh, and I will do a video on the drawing so you all know that it's up and up on the on the legit but anyhow first part of of this is you're going to have to be a subscriber uh, I don't I, I've never sat back on on the CT 125s and said that I want you all to subscribe but to win this uh, by the way this is costing me out of my pocket uh, and I'm on Social Security, so you know I don't make a whole lot. But anyhow, you've got to be a subscriber to the channel. You've got to like this video. And any video in the month of September. This is the 2nd of September. And we'll have the drawing the 1st of October. Okay? Um, and I want you to leave a comment. And in that comment, you're going to have some things that you have to put down. One is... Should I monetize the channel? Yes or no? It doesn't make any difference to me. The rest of the stuff we're going to reveal during the video, so stay tuned. Okay, folks, we're back. Now, this video basically is about uh, a long term uh, evaluation of my 142cc big board kit which I've had on now for over 3,000 kilometers. And I, I know that's not a lot compared to some of the mileage that y'all put off in, in the States. But uh, Thailand has been locked down, let up, locked down, let up, locked down, let up. And it makes it very hard to go anywhere to do, do videos. Um, so I do them when I can. And I belong to another group that we ride the big bikes and so I ride my Triumph with them too so um, that takes away from some of the time for the CT125 but anyhow uh, this this is about the long-term evaluation of the big board kit and the BBK so I've done a lot of riding with this bike on all kinds of different types of terrain and I have to say that man it has never let me down i've i've ridden the bike on on highway pavement i've ridden the bike in uh, village paved roads i've ridden the bike on on dirt roads I've ridden the bike on gravel dirt roads gravel and dirt roads I've ridden the bike on sandy roads I've ridden the bike on uh, trails, dirty, dirty single track trails. I've ridden the bike through water, across creeks, on rocks, big rocks.
ridden the bike through some really gnarly mud bogs. And this is deep, by the way. Right here. Mud holes deep too. And uh, throughout all of that, the little bike came through like a champ. I can't complain. That 142 cc's, maybe I didn't need it especially after I went to the gearing that I went with on the bike. But then again, I could do a lot of stuff in second gear that I couldn't do in second gear before. I did a lot of stuff in second gear that um, I definitely had to go down to first gear and wrap the crap out of it. I didn't have to after I put the big board kit on it. Uh, gearing wise, I had the same type of gearing prior putting on the big board kit but reliability wise I'm, I'm very confident in the materials that I got uh, everything was is made by reputable manufacturers and they're direct copies of or are standard parts from Honda and Kawasaki that made this big board kit um, so if you're concerned about the reliability of, of the big bore kit that I put on the 142 cc kit um, I have no no qualms against it I did a, a, a heat cycle type of a break-in on the on the engine and since then I've I've run her up to 100 kilometers an hour I've lugged her around up in the toolies in the dirt trails and all that all day long and never let it really take a good break and it never overheated it never stalled on me once it never did any of that stuff I cannot complain about that 142 cc big board kit um, I did get a comment on it here recently and and it was about the lack of knowledge on on the engineering of these parts and that went into it and I answered the guy back on it and you're going to have to go to the, the big bore kit video to see exactly what I put in there on, on the answer to it. But basically what I'm saying to him is I have no complaints with the way this is done. Plus, I gained two horsepower on it. I gained two and a half newton meters of torque. And those gains were way more than the 17 cc's that I picked up off of off displacement so I know it has something to do with the air filter that I stuck on it uh, and I'll probably be giving one of those away in the future also and then I know it has something to do with the exhaust system and that leads me to one more thing about exhaust systems and this big board kit and that one thing is the exhaust system that I have on now, the Diablo exhaust. I really like the sound of it. I like the looks of it. I like what it does, except for there's one minor issue with it that I think may rob me of a little bit more power, and that's the head pipe on it. It's not a full opened up 19 millimeter head pipe. It's the same size of head pipe for about this much distance off of the cylinder head off of the cylinder that the stock pipe had and I've got a new pipe found that is a full 19 millimeters all the way out before it goes back into the megaphone plus with this this pipe I can put my stock heat shields on it so I'm gonna be doing a video on that because uh, next week I'm ordering that pipe when it comes in I will put it on write it do an evaluation on it do a video on the whole thing on it but anyhow folks that's it to tell you the truth if you ever get a chance to get the 142 cc big board kit and you can get it for a decent price get it installed for a decent price get a decent pipe to go on there and a, and a free-flowing air filter um, 
if you can afford it, by all means, get it and then take it easy when you break it in. And if you're not out there racing with people with it, you're, you're doing just fine and you want to go trail ride, this is the kit for you. Because I cannot complain about it. One, one iota. So, anyhow, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, talk to y'all later. Okay, folks, now comes the giveaway part. Here's the questions you have to answer. Number one, do you want me to monetize my channel or leave it non-monetized? So basically a yes or no, monetize or not monetize. Two, how many different hats did I wear while sitting right back over there at the pool? Question three, how many different pairs of sunglasses did I wear when I was sitting right back over there by the edge of the pool. And number four, how many different shirts or jerseys did I have on when I was over there? Get them right.